recapping <coughs> Brian Alvarez's SmackDown Q&A, Kevin Owens vs. Shane McMahon, Kabuki Warriors, Chad Gable. <coughs> Did you say the name? Let me see. Chad Gable on the main roster. Chad Gable. So a lot of people were hyping him up. He's like, oh, he's finally breaking out. And I was like, he was always hyped up in XT with American Alpha. Well, Jason Jordan thing sort of brought him down. But like, all of a sudden, you know, I haven't watched Raw in a while. If you are like big pro Raw fans and they're like really into Chad Gable now. I hate that they got rid of his He mentions that. And yeah, that's hurt him a lot. Um. There's a certain, I didn't watch the SmackDown because it was at work, but WWE always treating underdogs, small guys as underdogs. Do you remember that they're not that small? With that unintimidating. Chris Benoit probably was treated that way. He always like the toughest guy there. Zack Sabre Jr. in New Japan right now would not be treated this way in WWE. Kenta wasn't treated that way in WWE. Jim McGrann and Mr. McGrann, they treat him like tough guys. I don't remember who else. Let me see my examples. Matt Riddle in WWE would not be treated as a tough guy. I would be treated as an underdog. I think mean, that old Impact would do the same thing. They do, Impact already did that with... Just a Blanchard, and I think that was a good move. Because, like, she's a tough guy like Matt Riddle and Zack Sabre Jr. And that's where Impact used them terribly. Asuka! He didn't convert it like he should have, I think he screwed up the line, but Asuka they're treating like an underdog now, even though she's a former world champ. WWE doesn't feel have a Hall of Famer as a world champ, so they'll get into one of the sad memories. So, she and Kairi Sane are going after the 24-7 title. Kairi Sane has the telescope in front of her face. She can't, oh, not how she was booked previously in WWE, they can make her, she's basically like getting Shawn Michaels or cliqued or something. There's someone in the women's division, like Sasha or Charlotte, where she's not being pushed. She's, I don't know what Kairi Sane, how far that pirate gimmick could have went, and the version of the Kubibuki Warriors. Has nothing to do with the gimmicks, and it's just the name given to them. But, yeah, it's a mess. Um, Asuka was a former world champ. Like, you wouldn't have Dolph Ziggler, like, go, Brock Lesnar go for the 24 7 title. Tower Sunday never has any mic time to develop. Asuka used to be a main eventer, and now doesn't main event anymore. Probably the whole Republican thing about her not having an American accent, but we shall see. I don't know if that's affected at Matt Riddle. Kevin Owens or Shane McMahon. Something else you don't want to see. Kevin Owens was already fired. Yet they brought him back for another match for no reason. You 
I was sick and tired of this feud. Probably because they booked the terrible. It probably would be interesting too, but they just ruined the terrible. I felt like there would be a good ladder match. Oh yeah, some numbers by Alvarez. He says Chad Gable and Charles Benjamin were in NXT, which I don't believe is true. <coughs> With the haircut. He talks about Shane McMahon not making ladder matches. Or something. I mean, he doesn't really do stunts, but he hasn't been in ladder matches, but he doesn't really do stunts in hardcore matches. No matter how they're out of breath, no matter how this feud is going to push for SmackDown. It probably isn't an idea for pushing over the Gabriel Foxes.